guys, gals, and music pals. Today we're going to be looking at another So Me Law practice song. This one's called Doggy Doggy. Um, again, there are some of us that did this song in class, so we'll remember it, and there are some of us that this is brand new. So if it's new to you and you need to practice, you know you can back the video up, speed it up, however you need to use it. So the lyrics are here, and just repeat after me. Doggy, doggy, where's your bone? Someone stole it from your home. Who has the bone? I have the This song is actually used as a game where somebody has the bone and then somebody is in the middle of the circle and they're the doggy and they're trying to find the bone. So let's do this. Sorry, my nose is really itchy. <laughs> so let's do this with our solfege hand signs just so we can get familiar with it and then we'll identify our solfege. Doggy, doggy, where's your bone? Someone stole it from your home. has the bone. I have the bone. So really quick, there was only one word that had, what was this note? La. Only one word, one lyric had la. Who has the bone? What word had our law hand sign? has the the that's the only time we use law in this song so let's figure out our solfege doggy doggy quick reminder so so me me so i'm gonna put s s m m where's your bone so, so me. Someone stole it. So, so me, me. From your home. So, so me. Getting easier to do the so in these. Has the who has the so me la bone bone so me I have the I have the Again, we have so me la bone so me. So let's look at what that looks like. Boom! So we're gonna sing it and we're gonna do our hand signs. Repeat after me. So so me me so so me. So me me so so me So me la so me So me la so me So what do you notice about the solfege in these two measures versus these two measures? What do you notice? They are the same. They're the same. So, so, me, me, so, so, me, so, so, me, me, so, so, me, right? Now look at the next two measures. 
same again all about repeating patterns here now let's figure out the rhythms now one thing that is a little different is when we looked at these in the classroom we looked at them in four four times so four beats per measure with the quarter note getting the beat or ta getting the beat now we're gonna look at them in two four time okay so two beats per measure it's a little different but bear with me because Two plus two is four. So it's very easy for us to think something is in two four time or four four time, just based on what we're hearing. So we're gonna do this in two four time. So we're going to pat the beat and we're gonna figure out our rhythm. So doggy, doggy, where's your bone? Sing it. Someone stole it from your home. Let's do a beat at a time and we're going to figure out is it ta d two sounds on the beat ta or is it something different this song has something different that we'll talk about so first beat doggy was that one sound or two sounds two sounds which would mean it'd be ta d so i'm gonna draw ta d next beat doggy Toddy again. Let's try and do the whole next measure. Where's your bong? So think about where's your so how many sounds on the beat? And then bone was one sound. So that would be ta di ta. Okay. Someone stole it. Someone stole it. So someone. So how many sounds on a beat? Two. Stole it. How many sounds on a beat? Two. So that would be toddy toddy. So let's draw that. You can tell me the rhythm. From your home. Ta -de -ta. So we're gonna draw that. Okay. Who has the who has the so who is one sound has the it's two, so that'd be now here's the something different. Bone. Bone. So that was one sound across two pitches and across two beats. What rhythm is worth two beats? Remember, toddy, eighth notes, is half a beat. Then quarter note is one sound, one beat, then you have half notes. Half notes last for two beats, but a half note can't change pitch halfway in between. So we would have to do two quarter notes, but does this sound disconnected like two separate notes? Bone, or did we smooth it together? Bone, which one did we do? We smoothed it together. So the way you do that is you use a slur. Everybody say slur. Now a slur is where you can connect two notes that are different pitches and it smooths them out. So the way I'm gonna draw that, it looks kind of like a smiley face with our stick notation. So you have ta and ta tied together. So ta, ta tied together equals Ta. We're going to take that second T off. 
So, if I were to sing the rhythm of that measure, it'd be ta, and you would change the pitch. So now let's do the last two measures. I have the, I have the, ta, ta, di. And then bone again. Bone. Ooh, that note sounded rough. Bone would be ta. And we're tying the two quarter notes. Tying tying the two quarter notes together. So now let's pat the beat and we're going to sing the rhythms. Listen and repeat. Ta di ta di ta di ta. Ta di ta di ta di ta. So now let's just put it all together. We'll go through with lyrics, we'll do solfege, we'll do rhythm, and then we'll go back to lyrics. Ready? Think we can do it all together? Let's do it. One, two, here we go. Doggy, doggy, where's your bone? Someone stole it from your home. Who has the Now, if you want to, you can back this video up and you can pause it to learn the bits of the song that you need a little more practice on. I would love to see videos or pictures of you guys practicing with this. That would be so fun for me to see. And next time we're together, we're going to do one that is, I don't know why, but it's everybody's favorite. Everybody really loves this one. It'll be another So Me Wow practice song. But till next time, bye guys, gals, and music pals.